Hello and welcome to Tech Tool India. In this video, I am going to explain you about Laravel middleware. After watching this video, you will be able to understand all about Laravel middleware. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe our channel to never miss any video in the future. Let's see what we will cover in this video. In this video, we will see how we can create the middleware, how we register the middleware, how we can group the middleware, and how we can send a response on a middleware and how we can pass a parameter to any middleware. So without wasting any time, let's jump into the code and see the example. So I have already installed Laravel 9. If you want to see how we can install Laravel 9, you can watch the video. I have put a link in the description. So let's understand first what is middleware. Middleware basically is a bridge between request and response. You can understand like this. Every request when comes to our application will pass through that middleware. As it's suggesting by the name, it will be a bridge between request and response. By saying that, let's jump into and see how we can make any new middleware. So to make a middleware, we can run a command php artisan make middleware and the name of middleware. Let's say I want to check the request year. So I can name it like check year. Let's hit enter. As soon as you hit enter, it says middleware created successfully. So where actually middleware create? It's inside the app folder. Go inside HTTP. There is a folder called middleware. If I zoom it a little bit, so you'll see we have made check year middleware. So it created a check year dot PHP file. Let's open this. As you can see, it makes a check year class and it has a handle function which accepts request and a closer, which is next. So by default, what it does, it actually pass any request coming to this class to the next request, right? So here in the handle function, we can write our logic based on what we want to do. Let's say we want to check it if this is coming, this middleware is working or not. So how we can do that? So in order to use this middleware, we have to register this middleware. For registering, we need to open this app. Inside app folder, there is a HTTP folder. Inside the HTTP folder, there is a kernel.php file. Let's open this file. As soon as you open this file, so there is a middleware groups. There is a root middleware. So as I want to use this inside our root, what I'll do, I'll just register our middleware here. I'll call it check year path here, app HTTP middleware check year and class. So by defining this, we have already registered our check year root. So let's open our roots web.php file. Let's go into roots folder, open web.php file. As we already define a uh, use slash user slash create root inside our user controller you can take any root to verify your middleware i'm just taking an example root so you can create any other as well so as you see if i go now on this slash user slash create as i paste slash user slash create in a browser let's go to this it actually loading a sample page so let's go into code Right now, what, how we can apply a middleware? We can give it a middleware function here and the name of middleware is check year, right? So we are passing it check year middleware. Let's refresh this. So it's giving an error. Let's go here. We need to give it a slash app slash HTTP. Let's refresh this. Now it's working. So as we are not doing anything in our check year 
middleware let's say i want to see the request what is coming inside a request so i just dump all the request by request of all and then dump here let's see refresh the page you see there is a blank what if i just pass here a year of 2022 so if you see now it has a year of 2022 let's say we want to verify if the request has year 2022 then it will pass the request to another next request otherwise it will return to landing page let's apply a condition saying if request has year and a request of year is equals to 2022 right if this pass both the condition then it will go here otherwise it will redirect to to a root of so let's say we have this welcome root i'm just giving it a name of welcome right so we can call this root here welcome okay that's fine let's remove this dump here now if we test our page as soon as i refresh the page it goes to as soon as i refresh this it goes to this particular view page let's try editing this to 2021 what it does it actually redirects to welcome page again if i go on 2022 and hit and refresh it it loads the page so you see how we can use a middleware to prevent any request for you know to go inside and perform the action before that we can prevent the request so as you see by just applying a single middleware we can prevent a request to go to the controller and return a response from here inside a middleware itself so that's how we can create a middleware and return the response let's go into our kernel.php file and let's understand few other here so this is how we define the root middleware what if we want to declare this middleware to be a global uh, middleware so for that we want to declare it here inside this middleware array and the next sometimes there is requirement of creating a middleware group for example all the api should pass through a some middleware or all web requests should pass through some middleware in that case what we do we actually create groups and in groups what we define we define all the required middleware by just applying a single group we can apply all the middlewares to that particular group that will reduce number of middleware written in the web for example let's say we have auth middleware and we have check here how we can apply multiple middleware on a single route so how we can do we can simply pass multiple array here by just passing an array inside our middleware function this will allow us to pass multiple array let's say if we want to take some input inside our middleware right so what we can do let's say if we want to pass the year parameter inside our middleware and for example let's say two particular roots and let's say user slash new will be one which will accept 2023 and the one which will accept 2022 so how we can manage these things to pass to create a single middleware and pass a different input variable for those so for that what we can do so this handle method currently accepting two parameters one is request and second is closer for our response let's define here a new parameter which will be a string and let's name it a year right so after next closer we can take this as a 
year parameter and instead of this 2022 what we can do we can actually pass a year here and that's it that's how we can make our middleware to be a more dynamic single middleware can be used for multiple purposes so let's see if this is solving our problem or not let's go into browser for and, and what we have applied the condition for slash user slash create the year should be 2022 and slash user slash new the year should be 2023 so let me copy this url as soon as i go this this is loading that means it is working fine if i try to use 2023 here it is actually redirecting to a landing page let's go and instead of create let's pass new and pass the year as a 2023 it's working again so you see user slash new is accepting the parameter 2023 and user slash create is accepting a parameter 2022 so that's how you can use middlewares in your route and inside the application to prevent any http request to go inside the application before that you can validate that request whether it's be in the api call or a web call both you can validate and after validating if that condition is true then you can pass the request to go inside and perform the action otherwise you can re always return a response to that particular request i hope this is quite clear to you about laravel middleware if you have any questions you can put your questions on the comment below if you like this video please do subscribe our channel and get updated for any other video on the laravel till the next video keep watching keep learning thank you for watching